Don't go on it. Many, many accidents. We've seen three in the last 48 hours. But I think it's the rain. I think people in Texas don't know how to drive in the rain. Well, we are rainy. seasoned British rain <laughs> yeah. people, so we know how to drive. We don't know how to drive when it's dry. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, uh, and it's foggy. It's so such English weather the past couple of days. It's very weird. Miserable. I hope that less is a bit is, is sunny. Sunny again. To be ah, to be fair. To be fair. <laughs> um, Florida rained for the first like two weeks yeah. we were there, and then it, it got It wasn't nice. even just showers. It was just constant rain the whole time. Yeah. So Texas is about the same. Well, we've had a bit of nice weather, and now just some miserable weather. But it's meant to be going back up to like. 80s, this 90s. is not freezing cold. True, true, it's warm today. So we're just leaving Stone Creek RV Park. I know I say this every time, but I loved it. I really liked it. And I think just because there was so much space for the dogs, it was really geared up for dog people. So there was like, you know, poo bins around and poo bags. I didn't have to provide any of that. There was two huge agility areas to let the dogs off and just you know, just let them be dogs. Um, everyone had dogs there. And the ladies in the reception were really nice. They took all of our mail that we kept ordering because we're in quarantine and we're bored, so we keep buying stuff. Um, Should we change that from we to you? <laughs> hey, it's one of it was our phone cases. It's true, you so get that's new phones. technically new phone for cases. you as well. So we're heading to Av Av Alvarado. Alvarado, that sounds very Texas, doesn't it? Alvarado, and that is south of Dallas. So we're not going to any more cities anymore, we're over that, and we can't anyway because of the isolation. However, I'm a bit disappointed because there was a few places I wanted to go in Dallas that I feel will be shut down. I feel like we missed out not going to um, the... It's the main place in you want to spin it out? San Antonio. San Antonio? The main thing in the the thing, the main thing in San Antonio. Alamo? The Alamo, thank you. I um, don't. Yeah, no, I could have <laughs> liked to go and we see didn't that have to go to the Alamo. But, really? Um, yeah. Uh, it's a shame we missed out on that. But. but we can watch it on everyone else's videos. That's true. <laughs> Many people have been there. Go just YouTube Alamo. Everyone's watch been someone there. Else did, yeah. <laughs> Actually, Wayward Wags did the Alamo, didn't they? They did, so you can so, watch that one. And they did do the missions. I, you fell asleep. I did fall asleep. Not, not because of your video, just because he was not very well. Um, but Which is their fault as well, so... It's, that's true, yeah. yeah. Uh, they did do the missions as well. That was a very interesting episode. Yeah. Better than ours, because it was sunny, so they got some lovely B-roll. So basically, skip the f where my Lawrence puts it in here and go watch their video yeah. of, of uh, the missions, because it was beautiful when they went sunny, lovely, well a miserable, cold and wet of Grumpy Lawrence. So. I, might, I might just download their video and just re-upload it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think they'll do me for copyright? We'll just, just, we'll just cut out our faces and put it over theirs. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. And he's funnier than me so we can keep his voice in there. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay. Less Deal. editing. Yeah. It's much easier, we don't have to film anything. That's true. This might be interesting for some people. And I would like your opinions down below. For anyone who is an RVer, I would like your opinions down below and anyone who isn't, you might find it interesting. So our fridge can run on electrical propane, right? It works by sending a chemical up, which cools. So you heat a chemical up and as it ammonia. cools, ammonia, and then it cools a lot. That. And then that causes the cooling effect, but it takes forever, right? Which is why it took 24 hours. However, so the thing, the question is, it runs on electric or propane. So when you're plugged in, it will just run off electric. When you're not plugged in, it'll run off propane. So we could be in the middle of the desert, as long as we have propane, we have a working fridge. So do you use it when you're traveling? Driving. As in driving. So right now, should we have the propane on to run the fridge? Makes sense, right? So that when we get there, we... It's still cold. It's still cold. Now, the, obviously, the most obvious caveats here are one, you shouldn't have it on going through tunnels, which we haven't seen any here. Caveat's um, a big word. <laughs> I like it. I think it's French. <laughs> oh, je m'appelle Laurence. Sorry, out. I'm not used um, to Laurence being all proper. Okay. So, and the other thing is, um, gas stations, you probably shouldn't have it on in gas stations. Makes so, sense. But we know that we filled up with gas. We don't know if there's any tunnels, but if there is any uh, big tunnels, they normally allow you a stopping place so you can do that stuff. So, what do you 
you think? Should I leave the propane on whilst we're driving to keep the fridge cool? Or should we turn it off and just hope that it's cool? It stays cool. Yeah. Um, Answers on a postcard. Or in the comments, not in a postcard. <laughs> Stupid as well. It's a saying. <laughs> oh, okay, got you. <laughs> Looks like a big one though. Okay, but it still doesn't mean that we can drive around the car park. So if I park in Walmart, so there can is you walk a, there? There's a HEB that's going to be packed. Don't go there. There is a pets at home. Where is it up here? Left under the bridge. Okay, there's a diesel, there's a shell. So you might be able to park at the shell and I could run over. Necessarily. So we're turning left here, right? Yeah. There, yeah, it's opposite the shell. But it still doesn't mean I can get through the shell garage. You did this. <laughs> Don't blame me. No, but I'm just saying, okay. I need to know before, there it is, it's over there. So I need to know if it's somewhere I can stop or if there's a Walmart next to it, because a Walmart parking lot is fine. I think your best bet is to try and get into the shell. The shell looks like it has a lot of space. And then I'll, I'll bomb it over. What about this big park? That is a, I, that's a farm um, grocery store. It's going to be packed today or any day because of stupid quarantino. I'm worried about the size of the roads now more than anything. Okay. The problem is if I go in the shell, I'm going to block the shell garage until you get the Starbucks and come back. Well, not not if this is like you, I don't know what this is because you could like drive in and like park here out of the way and then get back on the road here, like do a little loop. That's what I'm thinking. But we'll be on this side of the road is the problem. I'm happy with the HEB if I'm honest. Okay. tried it was closed um, apparently the drive throughs are still open but this was just a normal one and it just said closed so no Starbucks for it's me sign. today it's a sign that we shouldn't get coffees when we everyone's bought me one oh, chicken express that smelled lovely by the way every time I walked past Stop. it it was like Sundays is when everyone texts and puts stuff on Facebook and he can't see any of it until we get to our destination and then he's like why is there 300 notifications? When should we get back we set up and I have to sit there for two hours and read the 1500 YouTube messages <laughs> and 500 Facebook messages and WhatsApp and an iMessage. And... Not quite that many but today we have had quite a few and I'm really surprised and I was just flicking through Facebook and I realized it's for two reasons today. One, the Wayward Wags released their video this morning and gave us a shout out, which was amazing. Love those guys. <laughs> and then to my surprise, Katie 
Carwood, I think that's how I pronounce her last name. She was our realtor in Maryland and she was really, really good. We had a great time with her. We bought a house very quickly, very efficiently. She really knows her business. I'm doing a little shout out for her because she did this amazing video <laughs> dedicated to Starbucks um, and gave us a huge shout out as well. So we've had like 10 subscribers in the last few hours, which has been just awesome. Okay, like, Natalie literally nearly cried. It's just nice that someone is... It's the nicest thing anyone ever done to me. <laughs> There's another Starbucks there. Uh, I just said, you know, Starbucks brings people together and this couldn't be a better yeah, example. <laughs> But here's Natalie's dedication to Starbucks. I said, if we find another one that has a drive-through, that I will stop. But she's going to have to walk through the drive-through. <laughs> and we did see one, and there was about a hundred people in line. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie very nearly thought about it. There's <laughs> still nowhere to park near it. Is the problem? No, Starbucks. You need to make space for RVs. Yeah. <laughs> You'll yeah. get more customers. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. That really made my day. It made me smile. Did. She's been miserable because she hasn't had a coffee yet, so thanks for that. I'm living vicariously through you <laughs> <laughs> and drinking your Starbucks. I downloaded my app like you told me to, so now I can find out where the drive throughs are and have a little bit of a look uh -huh. on Google Maps. I should be video Can't B roll wait. for our journey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You stay on the road. Sorry. Not about you. <laughs> Shame it's so foggy. Not seeing a giant beaver. Maybe they don't have Look at the size of this gas station, Lawrence. There's a Starbucks drive through over there. <laughs> there is, yeah. I'll head over there. Oh, thanks. It's a nice long walk for me. So we don't need gas, so I'm going to go left here. Like Camper Island. Oh. Uh, what? It's a Corvette C8 up there. Where? And that's not urgent. You made it sound like it was oh, it's like a little dog walk with all these bags. I don't want to go and stand in the Starbucks drive through It is a C8. Where? Oh, the orange one. I see it now. Why are you parking so far away? We need a wee, don't we? I thought you were going to walk over to Starbucks. I'm not going to go stand in there. Oh. To all of our Brazis, everyone, um, I just want this to go on record that um, Lawrence doesn't want me spending money on Starbucks. Just spent $20 on fudge. No, $15. And then we bought some Kinder Buenos. $20 on fudge. But I'm not allowed a $4 coffee. Actually, there is a Starbucks over there, but I'm not walking in this rain anymore. I'm over this rain. So if anyone does want to contribute to my fudge habit, link below. <laughs> um, this is our first time at a Bucky's. It's very cool, we've seen them. Mm. There is about like 300 fuel pumps here. And you go inside, there's a massive store. They sell everything, like fudge. And really nice restrooms. Yeah. Very clean, very nice. And the cool thing is, I also saw a uh, Corvette C8 over here. It's obviously, they haven't been released yet. So it's very weird to see one out in the wild. We saw one at a car show, but there is a C8 over there. It's obviously a dealer dealer car, but because it had special plates on. But that was cool to see in real life. Natalie couldn't care at all. I saw one last year. At the Corvette show? Yeah. This is real life, like in the wild. <laughs> I saw a Corvette in the wild. Yeah. Mm -mm. But it's not much social distancing going on in there. It was <laughs> heaving. Mm -hmm. um, but they did have hand sanitizer everywhere, so that they was did. kind of good. That was good. They're on it. And actually, I've, my hand, they've got really nice soap. My hands are so silky. <laughs> okay, we've got like two hours to go, so uh, let's do it. Yeah. See you there. What? It's over there. What is over there? So, most people won't care, but I've always wanted to go to somewhere for the last 10 years, probably, maybe eight years. And 
the American MotoGP circuit is here. I think it might even be Formula One as well, I don't know, but the circuit of the Americas is right, I can see it, it's right here. It's about half a mile from where I am right now, and I didn't know it was here. I mean, we wouldn't be able to go to anything, everything would be shut down because of Corona, but ugh, it's so annoying. Are you going to go on to County Road 501? No, but literally, that is literally where our campsite is, Natalie. No, we take a left up here. There's a big parking lot. Looks like aeroplanes. That is, that's our campsite. No, it's not. It's a bunch of tubes, honey. It's some kind of factory. I don't know how I'm going to do this U-turn. What is that? they load them up in trucks or something. It's crazy, isn't it? Love is an open door. I can't see any campsite. Me either. Oh, up there. No. Maybe. There's no sign for it. They can at least put... Did you read the instructions? Is there a special way in? No. There's a campsite over there. Oh, we're not going to turn left here. This isn't right. Okay. It said it's located off East US Highway yeah, 67, there. Texas, three miles of left here. Yeah. And there's no. On our left, John. Ranch RV Resort. Texas RV Ranch. Texas Ranch RV Resort. There it is, there's a, the, the sign for it. It said it's new as well, so. That might be why uh, I can't see anything. Yes, that would make sense. Right, it's so you turn this mother. Actually, I think I might have it, but when I try and zoom in, it disappears. then we did not looks busy it does look busy i'm surprised because our last one was so empty maps doesn't want to load it at all there we go no nope, still not letting me zoom in Signs on the door. <laughs> Love is an open door. You see my fudge. You packed it nicely. <laughs> Welcome, Warner family. Really? Really. Oh. <laughs> Good. Well, at least we have space. What are we in? We're in a pull through. Oh. Okay. 31. Okay. Go around the office and around to 31. Oh, I hate pull throughs. <laughs> Always get pull throughs. Why? Because you're in the middle of everywhere. I like to back up. My office is in the back, so I like to. Plus, I can I can back the trailer better than I can drive it forward. So I always end up pulling through the pull through and then backing back in. Pickleball. What the hell is pickleball? Right, where is it in correlation to the play park? Right, so this is next. The 
this one, right? Yes. Should we let this 31? Okay, I see it here. Oh, well, at least we're right next to the facilities. I don't know if that is the facility. Oh, yeah, it must be. Clubhouse and pool. Oh, it's nice. It's pretty. It's very, very wet. It's very open again, though. Oh, God, it is saturated. It's weird not speaking to a office No. Person. That up. <laughs> All throughs are going to be easy. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's much easier just to back in. They're big sites again. Nice picnic table. Oh, yeah, that is. So you're the third bay, or the third one in, eh? Yeah. See, pulled through, and now I'm going to back it back up. Back it back up, back it back up. You want me to go and look at what the f you're doing? That pool looks really nice. Look, it is 33 degrees today. That pool is beautiful. What are you doing? There's no pool on the map. Is it pulled in front of you to your right, just slightly to your right? No, dead ahead. Pulls, yeah, directly in front of us. Yeah, it's a big play area here. Hold on, let me just see what's going on here, John, because we're actually sunk in the mud, so I don't think we're going to get out. No. <laughs> Just. Just. Yeah, that one's all right. to put those wheel chocks on those tires are caked in mud as we hose them off yeah, so I bring the slide back in though so we can hose it off yeah, yeah. home sweet home What's up with you, honey? Your tummy does look a bit bloated. I'm gonna take Roxy to the vets. So we we got here, we fed the dogs, then we went out and got some food, and then we were just kind of chilling out and Roxy was trying to throw up and pacing a bit. And we're very worried that she's bloated because she's very restless. Honey, you are lucky enough to make it to 14. <laughs> so can you not yeah. die of this? Please. Okay, I hope we caught it in time. Uh -huh.